This is Joanne, and I just read a very important book. It's a very intelligent book and also very infuriating. This is not a surprise because the author wanted to engage in a debate about the role, the nature of science and its role in public policy and the susceptibility of science to craven manipulation on the part of corporate interests. The title of this book today is Doubt is Their Product, How Industry's Assault on Science Threatens Your Health. It is written by David Michaels, who is an epidemiologist and also has many other impressive credentials to his name, which makes him completely qualified to write a book on this topic. The title of this book comes from an observation made by a big tobacco industry executive who noticed that, you know, there seems to be a body of evidence in the mind of the general public based on scientific fact. But if we could put doubt about these scientific facts into their minds, then that would be working in their favor. They would be con allowed to continue to work with um, their current levels of toxins or carcinogens or, or whatever it is we're talking about. Um, as, as we know, many companies over the years have used um, toxins or carcinogens in order to create their products and exposure to these toxins and carcinogens have resulted in worker illness and death and even affects the general public. Uh, but the industry is really wanting to be slow about changing these levels of exposure. So what they do, it, well what industry has done over the years is to create an entire sector called the public defense industry. The public defense industry has discrete companies that hire lawyers, they hire public relations people, and they hire scientists whose job it is to go through the academic literature, peer-reviewed literature, and to re-evaluate the, the claims that are made, the experiments, to look for holes, to create doubt, to look for confounding factors, to say, oh, okay, we agree maybe exposure to chromium-6 is a bad thing, but maybe they're really getting sick because, you know, it's particle size, or Instead, it's uh, confounding factors like they, they also smoke or something else. So they, they look for any excuse they can to drag their feet so they don't have to change the levels of the toxin they are currently working with. This book went chapter by chapter by chapter in the very beginning discussing a different toxin, known toxin, known carcinogen, and each chapter started to look exactly the same but not in a boring way. They it would talk about benzidine and vinyl chloride and chromium-6 and uh, diacetyl, which causes popcorn lung, and on and on. And you started to see the same uh, factors over and over again, that the industry needed to attack the science or ignore the science, but most certainly to demand from science what science does not have, and that's perfect certainty. And we know that scientific um, research includes a lot of give and take and, you know, um, interactions between scientists and we don't always have certainty at any given time. And so the industry wants to play on that to be able to use it towards their, um, their goals. The term junk science was a public relations gimmick, a coin termed to vilify any science that actually went against corporate interests in case you ever wondered where that term came from. So I found this book very, very fascinating and very useful because he also talks about the role of the courts in this, uh, this victim compensation, for instance. And it also discusses how courts can be improved for this. He also discusses the regulatory agencies set up by the government, things like OSHA, things like EPA, and how much uh, bite do they have to be able to help victims in this uh, case or not. And then he also just gives practical suggestions on how uh, these regulatory agencies can be improved to work more on behalf of the victims and their families and the general public. I really enjoyed this book. It's very important, very, very um, fascinating, and very angering. So be prepared as you read it to have your jaw drop in astonishment every now and again at the audacity of industry to use science, to abuse science to their advantage. I'm highly recommending this book, Doubt is Their Product by David Michaels. Pick it up, learn something, become an advocate for the victim's rights. 
Uh, I appreciate you listening. Thank you so much. Bye.